This is not a radial engine. This is a rotary engine. The rotary engine was first developed in France in 1905. It would be popularized in aviation on aircraft like the Sopwith Camel and some Newports later during World War I. Rather than having a stationary crankcase and cylinders like the future radials employed, the rotary engine rotates around a stationary shaft. While this seems like an absolutely chaotic system, it was created for some interesting benefits that a rotary engine provided. The system had no carburetor, reducing its complexity but also meaning that the operator had only two power settings, on or off. During landing, the pilot of an aircraft utilizing a rotary engine would blip the ignition on and off, providing a reduced thrust during the landing phase. Even though the maximum speed of the engine was about 1200 RPM, the rotary engine could still produce about 100 horsepower at sea level. Because the engine rotated, even on the ground, the rotary engine could provide airflow to cool the cylinders. This was important since liquid-cooled engines had a drawback needing to carry more weight to operate the engine. It was even significantly smoother of an engine to operate operate than an inline which was more popular on aircraft during that day due to the inertia of the rotating mass. This year at Oshkosh, the Vintage Aircraft Association demonstrated a functioning rotary engine multiple times, giving visitors the opportunity to see and hear aviation technology from over a hundred years ago.